So I've been doing some videos on the ICOM IC705 recently and some of the comments uh, on these videos have been, well, should I buy an ICOM IC705? What would the reasons be? Like this radio is only a five watt radio when it runs off the battery. Uh, it's 10 watts when you plug it into an external power supply. So why would I want to buy this radio? It doesn't have a tuner. Uh, it doesn't have all of these features that a base station radio would have. Well, in this video, I'm going to list the reasons why I purchased the IC705, why I think it's a great radio. And I'm also going to show the ideal uses for this ICOM 705, some of those which I want to start to explore in the future. The question that I want to pose to you is, are you purchasing an IC705? If so, what are you going to be using it for? Okay, so the ICOM IC705, let's think about that first question, should I buy one? Well, at the end of the day, the only person that can answer that question is you. What are you going to use the radio for? Now, the IC705, of course, is a portable radio. It is a QRP radio, which means that it's five watts running off a battery. It's 10 watts if you plug it into an external supply or an external battery that you may have with you. But if we look on the ICOM America website, it gives a nice overview of what this radio actually is. It says, a new hybrid radio, base station radio performance and functions are packaged in a compact and lightweight portable size. Whether you are taking your hobby to a SOTA, POTA, or some other on the air location, the IC705 will be your go-to rig. So, portable, QRP. So when we think about portable, SOTA, POTA, uh, operating contests maybe, field days, all those sort of things. That's where this radio will really suit those who would like to replace maybe uh, another radio that they've previously used, uh, such as the uh, FT, uh, Yaesu FT817. In my case, I had a Yaesu FT817. Now this radio uh, was great for running transverters, so uh, my microwave activities, you've seen probably a couple of my videos on that. Uh, very popular radio. I'm going to be replacing this radio with the 705. Now, the reasons for that is that I have an IC7300 and I also have an IC9700 and all the menus are the same. So I don't have to go learning a new radio every time. It's also got a lot of other features that I'm going to use uh, in my microwave adventures. Plus, I've also got the ability now to operate HF on this radio and I feel like I'm going to use this on HF portable. So I I'm thinking SOTA, I'm also thinking POTA. I love to go climbing summits and mountains. So this radio, I really think that I will be able to use for that purpose. Now, of course, I could have done that with the FT817, but let's be honest, the 705 is really cool. Like, you've got the touch screen, you've got the scope, you've got all of these functions, GPS, uh, locators, everything like that in the 705, which the FT817 doesn't have. I mean, this radio is, oh, how many years old now? 15 years old, 10, 15 years old. But I'm not saying that the this radio is a bad radio. It certainly has its uses. Uh, there'll be plenty of these coming onto the used uh, radio market. So if you're looking for a budget portable HF to UHF radio, keep an eye out for some of these because they're going to pop up. But the 705 just seemed to suit my needs a lot better. So again, it all depends on you. What are you going to use the radio for? Now, if you are concerned about power and you think that five watts or 10 watts is not enough, then have a look at the IC7300. This radio does HF and six meters. This is for those who think that they will only use the radio on HF and six meters. That's where the 7300 comes in as a great first radio. It's a base station rig, it's 100 watts, it's got a tuner in built into it, and it's the same layout or very, very similar layout to the IC705. If you want VHF and UHF, you can also purchase an IC9700, which again is a base station radio. You can, of course, look for power amplifiers for the 705, but that's not really what the radio was designed for. The radio was designed for portable, operation QRP. Now, five watts 
is sometimes more than enough to work the world on. Uh, check out uh, VK3YE, Peter, his channel. I'll put a link in the cards and also in the description below. Peter's got lots of uh, videos where he has used an FT817 using five watts or less to work the world on 20 meters, 40 meters, whichever. So it's definitely enough power to work the world. So you can uh, work the world on an IC705, of course. The other thing about the IC705 that I liked as well is that I can just take it wherever I want to go. I can just put it in the car. I can pop it on a tripod, on a camera mount. I can, it, there's just so many things that I'm, uh, I plan to do with this radio and I just cannot wait to be able to do these. It also has one cable for digital mode. So it's a USB cable straight in. Whereas my 817, I had to use a signal link um, USB box, which again was more stuff that I had to carry out in the field. So again, it all depends on what you want to use the radio for. If uh, the other functions, of course, you've got D-Star, your digital voice, all of those things in the radio too. So they're just a little bit of a bonus. Um, so it all depends on what you want to use the radio for as to whether you should buy an IC705. So I hope that this video helps you in making a decision on to whether you should buy an IC705 radio or not. If you did find it helpful, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button uh, here on Ham Radio DX. Please leave a comment below. Are you buying an IC705 and what are you using it for? What features do you like? Uh, and I'd uh, love to hear from you all and I will endeavor to reply to your comments below. So thank you, 7 threes, and thank you for watching.